This is Motivira's third tutorial, and in this tutorial, we will be helping you learn front flips, or at least improve on the techniques that you've already learned. Okay, so the first progression is a somersault. For this, you want to roll forwards directly over your spine, unlike normal, safe parkour rolls. So for the front roll, you want to start standing, and then put your arms in front of you, bend over slightly, tuck your head in to your chest so that you can follow through your arms from your upper shoulders down through your lower back and then tuck your legs in so that you can stand up out of it. And that's how you do a somersault. So once you have mastered the normal rolls, your next progression step is to do dive rolls. For the dive rolls, basically all you're doing is you are jumping into that roll. So how you want to do this is you're going to start with a slight run up, plant your feet in front of you, kind of take a small hop into it, pulling your hands up near your ears, throwing your arms forward and up, and from there you're going to lift your entire body up, throwing your hips up. Once you do that, you're going to plant your hands onto the ground, so you're pretty much jumping almost into a handstand, and then from there you're going to use your hands to guide yourself down to your shoulder, and then just roll along your shoulder down across your back, just like a normal somersault. So after the dive rolls, the next progression you're going to want to do is try the front flips onto a mat or other soft surface. And this progression step will henceforth be referred to as flopping the flip. You want to use mats for this. This will make sure that you're safe if you land bad. You'll be proceeding to this step when you're ready to do front flips on the ground, but you're not sure if you can land them yet. So. It's okay if you don't even have them on trampolines yet. So for these, you want to get a decent sized run up and then basically do a somersault in the air onto your back. And then after that, you want to try getting height and doing that and then tucking and bringing your head into your chest as you flip. And then eventually, if you just keep trying these, you'll land it. So when you're ready to go for it on the ground and you've landed it on mats or really close to, then you're ready to try a front flip. So front flips, there's two different methods of basically taking off for the front flip. The one I'm going to talk about is the, what we refer to as a punch. The best way to do this is you're basically going to start with a decent run and make sure you have enough momentum to do it. Whenever you're ready to actually go for front flip, you want a very small hop where you're basically bringing both feet together and landing on the ground. You want to land with your feet just slightly in front of you, that way it kind of trips you into the front flip a little bit. Right. When you finish the bunny hop, you want to explode up, throwing your hands directly up and out a little bit, and extending your body. As soon as your feet leave the ground, you'll whip your hands and your head down, kind of tucking them in towards your knees, and you want to eventually grab your knees and hold that position until you actually can see kind of in front of you again, and that's when you're going to shoot your legs out and try landing the front flip. So the, another type of form of the takeoff is when you step into it. What this refers to is basically when you're just stepping into it, so you're kind of jumping up in a running stance so one foot's in front of the other rather than jumping and bring both feet together punching. For this, you really want to make sure you're, you're jumping up and that you're throwing your arms up with it and kind of keeping your body in front of you a little bit. And then once you take off like that, it's just tucking like a normal flip and landing just like a normal flip. A mistake a lot of people make at first is they'll open up too early out of it. Just one of the reasons this can happen is if you close your eyes, don't close your eyes when you're doing it because when you close your eyes you have no control over the flip. But if they're open then you can hold it the entire way around until you're facing directly in front of you you've completed the rotation and then you can just shoot your feet out straight down and land and then you'll have the front flip. Keep going for it and it's going to take you a while to land it. So you can do anything you say your mind to, so just keep trying. So. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.